hell? You scared me. You scared me. Everyone scared me. Dad's in the hospital. We gotta go. Is he okay? I don't know. Come on. Mrs. Cooper, your husband's gonna be okay. Oh, praise the Lord. It was mild and John Vectoris. We're gonna keep him for observation, but he's awake and you can see him now. Thank you, doctor. Yeah, um, yeah I'm gonna get out of here. You go see George. What? No, you might have saved his life. He's gonna want to thank you. Yeah, that's nice, but I think it's best. Linda, I insist. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Come on. Hi. Hey. Look who I have with me. Hey, George. Brenda? Are you okay? Do you need a doctor? Oh, no. I was just excited to see you. Hey, good news. Your dad's doing okay and should be home in a couple of days. Thank God. Thank modern medicine. All right, you two try and get some sleep, okay? Mima, Do you think I gave Dad a heart attack? What? No. This isn't your fault. I was really mean to him. I was mean to him as well. What I did was so much worse. That is true. When we're receiving our punishment, they should really let you have it. Okay. Y'all go to sleep. But I was just an accomplice. It wouldn't be fair if we got equal punishment. Sleep. My Mima didn't understand. When I was feeling anxious, it was rules and structure that I found soothing. Not to mention the relaxing melody of the Star Trek theme song. Stop that. As soon as I'm soothed. enough that rolled me out in a wheelchair I didn't need. He could have let me drive it. You got winded getting in the car. You heard that, huh? Should we talk about what happened the other night? What happened the other night? I was having that huge fight. Oh, that. that. Forget it. How can I? It was a bad night. I say best thing is to put it in the rearview mirror. Oh, I would love that. Done. The other night never happened. Thank you. <laughs> and up next, we've got a twofer of Leonard Skinner coming at you. <laughs> Could use a little peace and quiet. With my father home from the hospital, my mother had instructed us to let him relax. And what could be more relaxing than a spirited discussion of societal rules and morality? Dad. What's up? I'm struggling with an ethical crisis. Be a kid, quit struggling. Missy and I broke a lot of rules the other night, and we received no punishment. <sighs> Buddy, it's been a rough week. We're just glad you're both safe. But in the absence of a divine being, society's rules are what keeps a person's morality in check. Well, there you go. No, you're not following me. If actions have no repercussions, society breaks down. Everything devolves into chaos. You might be overthinking this. I thought so too. Then I thought about it and I'm not. <laughs> 